Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into a few applications that I think are really underrated. What this basically means is that I don't think enough people are talking about the application and uh, I don't feel like they get the attention they deserve because these are great options to some of the other applications you might have seen on the market. The first one is actually an application called uh, Coda and this is an alternative to something like Notion. However, it is a little different because I feel like this is a bit harder to use uh, than Notion is. So if we just open up uh, one of my documents here, I haven't fully used this application. I've tested it out a little bit, but I haven't fully used it as my personal app of choice. But as you can see, I can do a backslash here and I get a lot of choices. I get templates. Uh, I get some formatting options, um, actually a lot of formatting options. I can even force syncing here. I can get today's date, uh, add a file, add different media types, uh, even uh, designs from Figma. I can uh, import things from Airtable, Confluence, CSV, Excel, Notion, Markdown, and Trello. So you can actually import things from everywhere you have the buttons so I can create a new button here and uh, with a new click I can decide what to do. Uh, the What this actually does or what this actually shows you is the ability to um, the ability to customize everything and uh, to uh, actually uh, insert a lot of different automations. That is where this application shines. Uh, you also have things like charts, forms, which is something Notion uh, recently added, but they have been a part of, they've been a part of Coda for a long time, but you can also um, add buttons to do different things. So copy to clipboard, delete boards, send message or notify users. So there are a bunch of things you can do here. You can add uh, different controls. So I could add a slider here and I could uh, modify this slider a little bit. So the starting value here is zero. I can drag this uh, on like this. Uh, so there are a bunch of things you can do. And if you combine uh, the customization, the buttons, the automations uh, with AI and just everything that this application offers, you get a lot of possibilities. Uh, so where this shines is customizability, uh, formulas, which is something Notion also have, uh, has, but it isn't as extensive as in Coda. Um, and the last thing it does uh, really well, so it is automations, it is customizability, and it is uh, versatility of the application. Uh, so uh, that is the things I do love about this application. And there are a bunch of templates to help you start out, but I feel like this is also just like Notion, a really hard application to learn and uh, to be able to use uh, to the point where it is actually, where you're actually utilizing all of the possibilities that Coda offers. They also have a lot of cool things with AI, even with doc Q&A, uh, which allows you to talk to your notes. Basically the feature you see in most note-taking application these days. They also have a pricing plan. So let's say uh, you just want to use this for personal use. Uh, you can actually use this for uh, one person or a team of one with one doc maker. And for free, you can actually use this application, but to get unlimited doc size, 30 day version history, uh, pro packs, custom icon and branding, custom domains. This is much more for teams. This can be something you would want on a, a personal level as well. And you also get some uh, AI, uh, some AI credits as well. 
this will set you back $10 each month, which isn't too bad compared to the pricing of a lot of the other applications on the market. Uh, monthly, this will set you back $12, so either $12 or $10. Next up, we have Reflect Notes. This is tailored more towards people who have an iPhone. They have a web version, which I'm using right now, which works great on the on a Windows uh, PC, but um, it is more tailored towards those who are in the iOS and Mac ecosystem. But uh, this application actually initially gained a lot of hype, uh, but after a while people just stopped talking about it. And I feel like people stopped talking about it as it got much, much better. Basically the way this application works is that it is an easy way to get into network note thinking. So note taking, so backlinks and linking different things together, having a map view, having basic task management, daily notes. Uh, it is a really beautifully designed application. And that is one of the things I really do like about it is how beautifully it is designed and just how general the application, how good the application in general feels. But also the fact that they have added a lot of AI. So they have a, a, an AI whisper integration, which allows you to record uh, audio and actually talk your notes out. And the transcription on that is amazing. Uh, quite similar to a lot of these audio note-taking applications you see on the market right now. So that is one major uh, thing. Another one is that you can create custom AI prompts here to use AI right within the application. Again, a thing that a lot of applications do offer. Uh, I haven't seen the ability to save custom prompts in many applications, but most of them actually offer some sort of AI and a way to talk to AI. But uh, the last thing and probably the thing that uh, most people will find most interesting is the chat with your notes features. This feels uh, like the thing Mem promised to be. It is a little expensive since it only has a yearly plan. You can't actually pay for this application monthly and it will set you back $120 each year, which is a little steep uh, when that is the only option. You get a two week trial, but you do not get any monthly plans. Uh, and I'm not saying that the yearly plan in itself is expensive or the application isn't worth it, but the lack of having a, a monthly plan makes this sort of an investment that you have to stick with for a year because paying $120 than not using the application is, it doesn't feel too good. Next up on the list, we have Super Notes. And Super Notes is this application that is sort of uh, tailored towards students, but a lot of people like it as uh, a PKM application, a personal knowledge management application. Here you have note cards and uh, these note cards actually have a soft limit to them. So this should be over the soft limit as you can see here, uh, but you don't have to pay attention to that. It works with files, you can insert images. Uh, they have a little bit of AI, but they have a different take on AI than many of the other applications on the list, but they have something called AI vision. So if I just press this right here, the AI will help me find uh, the right tags and I have to click on them to get them uh, for them to be used, but it will also fix my grammar. I have already fixed the grammar of this one, but that is some of the things the AI does as well as helping you with creating uh, new uh, custom collections, which are basically smart folders. Here you have another easy way to get into networked note taking. Uh, I feel like this application is really well built. It is quite easy to use as well. The idea of note cards makes sense to a lot of us. And one of the things I really like about this is that the application will actually grow with you. So as your note taking needs grow, as your um, 
note-taking philosophy and just workflows grow and become more advanced, uh, this application will uh, grow with you. And that is something that can be really good when you are looking for a new note-taking application, that it will grow with you so you don't have to change in a year or two when uh, you feel like uh, your workflows has been uh, has become more complex. When it comes to the pricing of this, they have a yearly plan, which will set you back $7.86 each month. They have a monthly plan, which starts at, uh, or which costs you $10 each month. They also have a five year, four year plan for $5.24 each month. This is actually really cheap, but of course it is a commitment of four years, but even the monthly and the yearly plans uh, aren't bad at all. Uh, so this is a great application if you are looking for a new like pure note taker uh, and a pure note taking app. Last up, we have an application that is called Taskade. This is mainly a project management application, uh, but it can also be used as a note taking app here. I'm using a template uh, for building a second brain. Uh, and when it comes to note taking, this is an outliner application. So uh, bullet points, uh, mm -hmm. only almost only bullet points. That's basically how it works. You can do some longer uh, blocks of text, but I found that bullet points work a lot better inside of an application like this. We have a bunch of different views. So everything from board view to table view, I can have a mind map, org chart, a Gantt chart, a lot of different options when it comes to the views, but that's not where this application shines. Where this application shines is these AI agents, which I can generate with AI, I can create from scratch, or I can use some of them that already exists. And with the addition of being able to schedule your Twitter or X posts right within the application, and they are doing it for LinkedIn as well, this is just getting better and better as a project management tool. I wouldn't necessarily necessarily recommend it as a note taking app, but as a project management tool with all of the great AI they are adding into it, it is an amazing choice. So if you are looking for a new project management application, this might be the one for you. When it comes to the pricing of this, this will set you back $8 each month, uh, each user each month or $10 if billed monthly. So again, not terrible pricing for an application like this. You can also get it for uh, Teams as well, uh, where two users will set you back $32 and let's just say you wanted to have 10 users that will set you back $160 if built yearly or 200 if built monthly. That is $16 per user per month on the yearly plan. I think I did the math right on that one. But uh, that is a uh, task aid for you. This is a heavily AI based application, but it is one I feel like deserves a lot more hype uh, in the project management and in general productivity space because of all of the cool things they are doing with AI. So that was all of the applications I had for you in today's video. If there are some I missed, please do comment on down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.